Yo, what's up guys? It's Pygos here, the Crypto Pie, and today we're going to be talking about the market guys. What's going on in the market? Right, let's take a look at the crypto market cap right here on coinmarketcap.com and we see that Bitcoin still up 0.90% and a lot of red in here guys. All right, so if you are willing to trade, you know, to gain some more Bitcoin, then look at things that are doing okay they are in an uptrend so don't necessarily look at only if they're up today but look if they're in an uptrend all right you don't want to be trading something that's in a downtrend unless you are accumulating for the long term but then you need to you know look into the fundamentals and think if your project is actually a good project so you know from neo i know it's a good project solid all right i don't have anything to worry about but you know for some coins you might need to worry guys so you know it's up to you but if you are into just for a trade, definitely look for something that is uptrending. If, if it's downtrending, you better be able to short it. Because if not, then, you know, you might, you, you probably lose money. So that's USD. If you look at Bitcoin, it's 0%, uh, 11 11.5 for Monero and 12.1 for Tron. Um, that is, so Tron is a good one to trade at the moment. So is Monero. Um, but if you look at the rest of the board, it's just a lot of red guys, right? There's Bytom, some weird coin, uh, I don't know what it is, but, and then we got ARK, the decentralized exchange, but there's so many that are, uh, so there's some green ones, but definitely look for one that's uptrending if you want to trade it, guys, and then buy the dip, right? Don't just buy into the massive FOMO. Alright, but just do your analysis. So anyways, guys, let's get into the Bitcoin chart. All right, because there's some interesting things, right? Let's zoom out all the way to the monthly. And uh, what, 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 what we see here is um, on the monthly here, guys. You see this? So this was our month, guys. This was a crazy month, right? But now you can all see it all in one candle. And it's basically, we went down all the way to 5.9K here. And then all the way up again to 11.7. And now, you know, we're just, I think we're just going to uptrend, guys, right? If we look, just look at the monthly, this is very strong. A doji with the upside, all right? A little bit bullish there. Also, stochastic RSI is getting to the bottom. So, it's looking good, all right, guys? The weekly, look at that, guys. Remember? <coughs> so, it's also looking good here. And now, let's just zoom in a little more, right? Uh, the daily. The daily is looking good. So everything, so, and we have this pocket here, right guys? So what if something like this happens, right? Boom, and then boom, and then go through, right? Like that. Um, It could happen, guys. Not saying it will, but there's definitely a pocket here in the clouds on the daily. If we look at the 12 hour, um, we're in this 12 hour cloud. When were we out of it at 11.68 or something? So I more like want to see around 12, 13K, but, uh, <clears throat> Definitely cloud is a good indication guys Remember what I said we need to stay above the four-hour cloud We went a little bit into it But then we hit the 55 EMA here and also a critical point on the Fibonacci level if We take a Fibonacci level from here to here, which is like we hit Almost a 0.5 right so that is something that is critical guys right there and we bounced and we bounced nicely All right, and we had a little pullback again to about the 21 EMA here and then we're bouncing again okay so um, uptrend still intact guys it's looking good all right all I can say about Bitcoin is looking good so if we take a Fibonacci from the bottom here from the 5.9 all the way up to around here right 11.7 or so so we went uh, up here and then we bounced from 38.2 and like we're just getting close to like that one to one again so that is pretty good right so where are some targets guys well like i said before if we just take our trend based fib extension from this bottom here we go to this top and then back to this bottom um and when you see that the the first one to one ratio is around 15k guys right so be on the lookout for around these areas right 15k about we just uh, draw it here as well I mean this this had some crazy upside here so um, definitely around here guys right this is definitely an area of resistance but before that we still have this area to cross this is a big area as well 
I mean, you can just see the areas, right? We're in this area, actually. So we need to get above this here. Um, Will we make that? Who knows? Just look at it every day, guys. Look at the four hour, look at the six hour. Look what's going on, right, on the bigger picture for Bitcoin. If you are day trading, you can look on the 15 minute and see, you know, how you're doing. Um, we just popped out of that cloud again. Beautiful, all right? You see that the 21 EMA is going over the 55 EMA. So we're definitely, it's looking good, guys, all right? That's all I can say. Bitcoin's looking pretty good, but uh, very unpredictable, though. Very unpredictable at the moment. It's just massive chaos. Um, we're trying to do counts here, but we just keep getting trouble, right? I mean, if we just take this to this, and then we wanted to count this, and it only gets to 0 0.5 and not to a 1 to a 1 without, you know, I, I call this a pretty decent retrace already. So, yeah, it's the, the counting there is kind of off. So, I would tell you to just play this based on the Ichimoku cloud and the crosses on the EMA, or if you use the 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 Tenken and the Kijun, you can do that as well. They crossed as well. So you can just look at those guys. Um don't don't try to count it too much right now. The Elliott wave is a bit weird. I mean, probably when it's formed we can actually like count it better. But this third wave is not like it should have just kept on going and not had this little pullback here. So, you know, um that's just where I'm at with it, guys. I just you know, as long as it stays above the 2155 and the cloud, I'm okay with it, alright? We, we can bounce here, we can bounce here. We just need to stay above the cloud. If we just go a little bit in it, uh, we shouldn't anymore, to be honest. Because our 55 and 21 is above it, alright? On the 4 hour. If we look at the 6 hour, we also have a cloud here. 55 is above it, 21 is above it. Um, it's just looking good, guys, right? We're just tr getting on our way to 11.7 here. This will obviously be... A resistance point let's just put it on our chart guys definitely you want to have this point on your chart so um, just put... what I do here guys is just a magnetic tool right in magnet mode it goes exactly to the, the wick so you know that's where my resistance is where's the major support guys well it's not that hard right it's right here um, let's put on magnet mode again Boom. Alright, this is the range we're in. So, it's that simple, guys, alright? So, do we have some trend lines? Of course we do. Um, probably like around, around here. So, you see, like, we're just making a nice ascending triangle as well. But if we fall through, it's okay. We just need to bounce on the cloud. Alright, so, um, that's just where we're at with Bitcoin at the moment. And uh, I think it's looking okay. It's looking pretty good. So, yeah guys that is pretty much it just a little quick update on bitcoin and uh, yesterday i wasn't there guys because i'm pretty busy at the moment in real life but i'll definitely be back on track soon to like uploading every day i mean i missed one now right uh, i just tried to keep you guys up to date regarding cryptocurrency and um yeah so i just try to be here every day okay but uh sometimes obviously we have real lives as well and uh things get in the way right so um yeah, guys, that's where we're at with Bitcoin. Um, I'm bullish, obviously, because the four hour crossed and ever since they crossed, we're still above it. It's just a great time to be in Bitcoin, right, guys? Don't be in fiat right now. Be in Bitcoin. Buy the dips. And uh, that's all I can say. So, yeah. Um, also, guys, join up with the CryptoPies block where we you post among each other. Um, you can ask me any questions. You can ask other people's questions. You saw I just had Len Connect up. Because I still have some Lang Connect left, guys. Uh, whether you want to believe it or not. I know it's a, a kind of a shitty platform. But uh, it was a great ICO flip, right? For sure. Um, I didn't sell everything at the top. But uh, it, for people who did, you know, you're doing good. Everyone's still doing good. I mean, you bought in for 50 cents. What can, what can happen right now? If you got in, you know, when I told you get to get in, you got in at 50 cents around. And uh, we're still up at like three bucks or so. So, you know, everyone's still up pretty significantly but uh that's just where we're at and uh i'm not, not i'm not doing any of those lending programs anymore guys uh, those flips are over i never told anyone to be in it for the lending the lending is just bullshit um 
you know, it's for the flips. So that's why I had that up. But um, also join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my videos. I post about upcoming ICOs. Whether they're shit or not, I don't care. If there's a lot of social hype, we are going in for the flip. Um, sometimes, all right, sometimes a really good project. I mean, take bit degree, right? It's a really nice, solid project. I mean, they are doing for education and uh, decent team and everything. But the price is just not working at all, right? That is because there's not all that much hype. Um, and the, the same with self key, right? It's a great project, great team, but just not enough hype. So, I mean, self key did flip the next day for 5x and I only sold half my own problem. Right? I need to wait now. Um, I should have sold it all, but that is what what we learn from, right? From some mistakes. So, you know, that's where I'm at with it. So, yeah, guys, join up with the CryptoPies feed. Basically, my announcement channel on Telegram. Both Telegram links will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.